I'm Jake, and there are two ways to test an electric fence, the right way and my way. Hey, what's up guys, and welcome back to the vlog. <laughs> <laughs> so we're gonna head out and do the extension on that horse fence should add about 50 yards in length 10 yards in width of just luscious pasture for these guys for these girls actually but I have some helpers this morning I have Tootie I got Henry I got P back there she's actually holding the supplies show them the supplies that there is the solar panel to charge the electric fence um, it's electric? yep and then we have that there which is just the fence tape that goes from post to post and then we have the posts right there they're just like a hard plastic with a metal stake at the bottom supposedly it's super easy installation so shouldn't be too bad that's fine that's fine i want to be driving slow anyway we're gonna head back there now get started on that um the Quadruplets are still sleeping. Connor is still sleeping. Aiden is doing some uh, schoolwork on his iPad. And we're going to get to work. Right, guys? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hold on tight. <laughs> Okay, so what do you guys think? So we're gonna go from this post right here and take it all the way out along the corn or where the corn was and then across to the tree line and then all the way back <laughs> to this corner post. Daddy, daddy! What, what, what? Mom. What? Mom. You wanna run? Yeah. Okay, go ahead. On your mark, get set, go! <laughs> Woo! Girly, what you doing with your pants? <laughs> <laughs> Hurry up guys, we gotta get to work! Henry! Henry's down. This grass is so long, I've got my pants wet. Yep. I'm thinking 12 feet in between the posts. 12 feet is similar to what this fence is right now. So just 12 feet in between each one. Actually, we're gonna have to figure out exactly how much space because we only have 28 posts. So if we have 28 posts, and we want 12 feet of space between the posts, we have to work that math out. Let's head down to that end and measure how far it is from the corn over to the trees. All right, let's go. I'll race you. I'll race you. <laughs> so because this is like a temporary fence, obviously these measurements don't have to be exact, but I would like them to be somewhat close. Who needs to measure? Not this guy. After measuring and estimating the width of what this is going to be, it'll end up being about 10 yards. Like I said, it was 33 feet, so 11 yards. So that's gonna end up being four posts with three spaces of approximately 12 feet, probably 11 feet actually, in between those posts for the width. We'll start off with knowing that in our minds that this could change, you know, the measurements could change, the size of this could change, so we will see. Here, here. All right, Pete. That and hold it at the very bottom of that one. Yep, we will 100% be using every single one of those. Two Henry, can I have another one? Can I actually have two? I'll take them both. Yeah. I'll take them both. 
Thank you, girly. I'm gonna play the fire. A sword. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> you clam more. You clam more. Fubby, 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 fubby. <laughs> Dang. And this? Yep. Oh, this is heavy. Thank you, toots. <laughs> Come on, Toots! <laughs> Thank you, girlie. Welcome. Henry, come on! No. What the heck are you doing with that, Henry? Ah, what is that, a flamethrower? No, it's a fire. Oh, it's a fire, not a flamethrower, a fire. Would this be faster if I drove the golf cart over here with everything on it? Yes, probably, but the kids are having so much fun going back and forth, helping me, helping P. P loves doing this, <laughs> sometimes. <laughs> but Henry and Tootie are having a great time. Hey, Daddy. Thank you so much. Empowering your kids with responsibility is a good thing. You know, they feel like they have a job, they're a part of something and they're having fun doing it. So why not just let them do it? It might take 10 minutes longer, but it is what it is, right? Have some fun, P. P's favorite chore is pulling weeds. <laughs> Mine either. Okay, so we are done with the posts. They're approximately 12 feet apart. I said before 50 yards in length, that was 100% wrong because we don't have enough posts. But with the posts that we do have, it's about half of that, 25 yards long, 11 yards wide, but it's just adding more space for these ponies. The posts are only three feet high. I think we're gonna do two layers of the fence tape. That should be enough. After laying down the first run, I think two layers of this tape is actually going to be enough because three would just be overkill. And I also, I'm not sure if we have enough tape itself anyway, so. I'm hoping this spool actually makes it the entire way because it would be really nice to only use one spool because then I wouldn't have to make another connection. So that'd be really nice. Actually, this is looking pretty good, don't you think? So we're actually almost done with the fence. We ran the poly tape all the way down and actually looped it underneath. It didn't have to make any cuts, so no extra connections for me, which is absolutely amazing. But I gotta say, the best part about these things, although yes, it's a project that's almost done, it's something that's needed, it's going to make the horses more comfortable and happier because they have more grass to eat, all that fun stuff. The best part about this is spending time with these kids, man. Spending time with my kids and getting these things done and not only having fun with them, but also allowing them to learn. I'm learning too, so they're learning while I'm learning, but they just have such a head start on all of this. You know, I'm, I'm learning all this at 33, 34 years old they get to learn it as kids. So it will be ingrained in them as they grow up, having, having the responsibility and the accountability that is needed to be successful in life. And I'm so happy that this is being instilled in them young. So we are actually done. So we ran two layers of the poly tape, two connectors here. This one's acting as 
Just like a clamp to hold it, keep the tension on it. Positive wire that's running to the fence, the ground cable here that's running around. So what I did was I tried to use a self tapper to go into this because it's kind of rusty. So I wanted to get in the metal on the inside, but then the head snapped off for obvious reasons. So I just stripped the wire, wrapped it around here, and I'm just gonna tape around the outside. Hopefully that works. All that's left now is we just have to wait for this bad boy here to store some energy. It says, charge the sunlight for three days before turning unit on. Now it does say we're supposed to wait three days, but knowing Maxine, she's gonna wanna test it out in like a couple of hours. So um, I'm not sure if it'll hold a charge that fast, but we will see. And I think the horses are going to be much, much happier. Right, Lucy? Daddy said he'll test it. Maybe the goats will test it out. <laughs> Guys. No, back up. I'm gonna test it out. Hiya, the... Okay, it doesn't work yet. <laughs> oh, no, she got yeah, she got shocked. She got... She was <laughs> trying to bite it. <laughs> Did she really? Yeah. She learned. Well, it works. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, I'm Jake. There are two ways to test an electric fence. The right way and my way. Unfortunately, I don't have the probes to my multimeter, so we're gonna have to go with my way. Now, a little bit. It's not crazy. All right, oh well. God, oh my God. Okay, well, you can eat. Oh my God, babe. Get in there. Get in there. Run up there. Alice, pick her up. Even Lucy's going after Sage. Pick her up. This is going to be on the vlog. Yeah. Babe, pick her up. This is going to be on the vlog. <laughs> Hi. So my camera died, but I still have my phone. Always have my phone. We are going to let them in to the newest fence here. Fence edition, I guess you could call it. Are you a horsey? Yeah! <laughs> <laughs>